Hello friends, Charlie Couchain here to do another install at my house. This time, we're going to install this outdoor HDTV deep fringe antenna in my attic along with this Channel Master Professional Amplifier to cut the cord and never use pay for cable again. So let's get started. Before you buy anything to do a project like this is you have to go online to the Channel Master website, or there's several, and put in your street address. Based on that location, it will tell you, as you see here in this map, um, my house is right here. We have stations due north in Tampa and Bradenton, but that's 56 miles. And down here in Fort Myers, is 23 miles so I'm sort of in the middle between all these towers and I want to get an antenna that should go 56 miles all right in theory nothing's perfect and it's all based on interferences but this one says it's good for 80 miles and I bought this really good channel master professional amplifier to pull in any of those weak stations now first thing we have to do is put this together. It sounds like there's a few parts inside. Okay, as we open the box, looks like there's all kinds of parts. parts. Arms. I guess we're just going to have to read the instructions. And luckily, the instructions came. And they're actually pretty good. They have a lot of pictures with descriptions. So we'll have to start putting this together. Putting the antenna together was actually quite easy. It was all done with um, wing nuts and was easy to put together with basically no tools. The only trick was paying attention to the pictures in the directions because some of the parts were very similar but you had to really check to be careful. So it went very easy, very quick. It only took me maybe 10 minutes to put it together. So it, anybody could put it together with no tools, just taking your time and making sure you got everything put together properly. One of the reasons I'm using this really good antenna is I had a smaller round omnidirectional antenna on my roof down here in Florida. And I had to replace it multiple times because of hurricanes or water intrusion. And I said, I'm, I, I just got a brand new roof and I didn't want to put this in, the big pole up on my roof. So I decided to put it in the attic. So I took that omnidirectional antenna, which seemed to work okay, put it in my attic and I lost several stations that I really wanted. So, I'm going to take that antenna out, I'm putting this in, and I'm putting in a better amplifier. So let's go put them up in the attic and hopefully I scan and get much more channels. Okay, here comes the trickiest part. Can I get this up into the attic in one piece? We don't have to take it apart again. <laughs> this is pulled downstairs in my attic, in my garage. And it does appear that it will 
fit if I'm careful. One of my first challenges, get this through this quagmire beside my air conditioner. <laughs> So far, so good. There we go. Okay, now the fun part is the antenna. I just gotta get it on that pole somehow. Get out my compass and find out where east is. East is straight that way. So I want one pointed north, one pointed south, to the right and left. So what I'm going to do is move this and that's about as north and south as I can get it with these brackets. I picked this mounting spot because it's out of the way. It's not where anybody walks or works on the air conditioning. All right, there's the coax. Now that will run to my amplifier. So let's go put that in. Then we can do a system check. Okay, what you see here is I mounted the Channel Master um, CM7777HD amplifier right here. And this is from the antenna that we just mounted. This goes into a splitter into the rest of the house. And it runs on USB power. You plug it in. And there's a red light. Okay. There's two colors. Red and green. We want it to be on green. There you go. And what the difference is, according to these instructions, is press the button on the side of the amplifier to set the gain adjustment to the desired level. We recommend the default low setting 17 decibels for most indoor and outdoor applications. The high setting 30 decibels should be, only be used for extreme deep, deep fringe areas. So the low setting is a green light and the red setting's high, so it's on green. So we're all ready to go check the TV downstairs. So let's go do that and see if we got any channels. After having each half panel aimed north and south, as you just saw, I scanned the channels and I had surprisingly 40 channels. But what I did notice, none of them were from the Tampa area, which was 56 miles away. So I decided I had to go up and reorient the antenna. Okay, here's how the final assembly came out. I mounted the roof, old roof bracket to a piece of plywood on the roofing supports. And then the pole came up. And this is how I have the actual antenna dis aimed right now. It's aimed due north and at the farthest antenna. And I went from 40 channels to 70 channels just by re-aiming it like this. And it makes a difference having these two panels lined up with each other like you see. Remember I had them at like a 45, 90 degree angle? Putting them straight together and then aiming them at the farthest one. They only got the channels that were at a distance of 57 miles. It also picked up the antennas that were at 22 miles in the other direction. So keeping them parallel seems to be a good thing. But this is in the attic, in an area where nobody will bump into it. And it should work out great.
Another successful project.